Hey, this is Peter Graphics, and today I wanted to show you one of the new features in Kiosk 3, and that is, uh, we call it Folder Select, and it's the ability to select and sort images by folder. So let's take a look at the configuration here of Kiosk 3, and on this page we now see this new box called Use Folder Select. That's actually on by default in Kiosk 3, but I've turned it off because I want to show you what it looks like. Uh, the, the, I want to sh first show you what Kiosk what Kiosk 2 would have done with these same photos. I've also unchecked Skip Load Screen, which is normally on by default. I want to uncheck that so we can actually see the photos load. Normally you would check this for speed, but it, I've unchecked it so we can take a look at it in more depth. Uh, so I'm going to click OK here, and I'm going to also take a look at our demo sample folder. Now this is our normal, the normal samples that we've been shipping with Kiosk for a while. Uh, but what I've done is, and it's these these Volvo race pictures. Uh, what I've done is I've put a couple of new folders in. Uh, this one, which is uh, some some uh, theater pictures. Uh, same thing here, more theater pictures, and. Uh, also some soccer pictures. So I've put these three folders uh, in this demo samples folder and this sort of simulates what it would what a, a video card a, a, a camera card might look like or um, if uh, just by default or sometimes people will organize their photos into folders and so forth. So we're kind of simulating that right now. Let's go back to our kiosk. We're going to return to our kiosk and I'm going to say let's get started. So when I do that, well, what Kiosk does is it just blows through every single folder and it tries to find all the photos. Now in this case it's only 63 photos, it's not too bad, but if we had had 630 photos it would have been a big stinking problem because you would have had to pick your way through all of those photos when you're trying to make your book or your 4x6 prints or what have you. So let's go back and reconfigure the kiosk by going to the configuration menu. And we're going to uh, do uh, use folder select this time. And click OK. Return to our kiosk and touch again to get started. This time, the first page we see it shows you folders that are exist in our target uh, media. So when you're configuring the kiosk, you say you, you on the target media, you can say I have a C drive, a D drive, or whatever drive. What we're going to do when you have folder select enabled is we are going to get every single folder in all of those in all of those drives, and we're going to put them out here. If any folder has a photo, we're going to put it out and list it on this page. So, for example, um, if you had um, if you had a uh, a CD and an SD card, we would show you all the folders of all the photos on those two sources. Or if you had an SD card with multiple folders, we'd show you all those folders. And uh, you can then proceed by checking or unchecking the folders you want to use in your project. So for example, uh, right now I've said I want the Nighthawks uh, soccer photos and these demo sample photo photos, and I'm going to click Next, and those, those are the photos that are going to come up. But uh, if instead I wanted to say, ah, geez, I just want these theater photos here. I'm going to click Next on those, and just those will come up. So then when I proceed to say I'd like to make some photo greeting cards, um, just the photos that I've touched are going to be listed. So it's a lot easier to pick through. Um, 19 photos than it is to pick through 63 or even 630.